WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got a mixed bag out here. That mixed bag shows the Dow up 32, the S&P up 8, the NASDAQ up 31. The Russell's off 9, semis are down 6, trannies are up 127. You've got gold trading down 13 bucks, 1793 is a print. Silver off 49 cents. It's printing out at 2410. Lights recruit up 94 cents, 84.68. Natural gas up nine cents. She's trading at 580. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. Now, even though it's not shown here, you're all familiar with the A to B equals CD pattern that is underway. The key is the confirmation of a A to B equals CD pattern or the sell the D point would be some type of bearish reversal candle. Right now, inside the ES mini, it's almost more of a doji than it is a sh uh, bearish shooting star. But let's wait to see what the end of day candlestick is. In the case of the uh, spot volatility, it's uh, moving higher, but still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. It says wind at the sales of the S&P 500. If we take a look at the NQ, I'd say the NQ is the uh, place to watch because that would give us our best signal. What Stevie means by a best signal is you've got an A to B equals CD pattern that's in place here. If it generates a bearish shooting star or, or any kind of bearish reversal candle today, that would signal a uh, top. That would say signal a uh, Gartley sell pattern or really a sell the D point. But the reason why the NQ is so important is the Dow and the ES did not form new profiles yesterday like we were looking at when we were on the show. And so it's only the NQ. And if the NQ doesn't close below the top of that daily profile, 15,483, it just says that any topping signal is suspect. So we're going to keep an eye on the Q, the NQ. U.S. dollar index has held support, uh, maybe targeting uh, its recent highs as long as price remains above the top of that daily profile. The case of gold, pullback out here, but that pullback not damaging anything, uh, still holding the center of its bullish structured weekly profile. The resistance level that gold must clear to signal an all clear to the upside is 18.15.50. The resistance level inside of silver is 24.92. Price right now just trading inside a new daily profile. Well, that looks pretty solid out here. The level of support at 23.78, resistance up at the 24.73 level. Uh, Lights we crewed on her merry way to highs. Natural gas pulling back but holding the top of that daily profile. That keeps its signal neutral to bullish out there. And folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.